if it is to be, it is up to me. See? Damn, I hope that last video saved. Which last video? Do I need to Just now, uh, after they turned it off. And I ain't stopped the recording. So. Like hopefully it just stopped fucking. You know what Boy, that sun feel good after all that cold and rain yesterday, yeah. man. Oh my God. <laughs> That's good. Well, you got on long sleeve or sweater, damn near. Uh, I lend my lesson. I lend my lesson good. So if I'm going to be back later, I would be warm. Or uh, nothing I'm going to do here. So. Also, I think I'd rather be burned by my clothes than the actual side. Wow. That hits you directly on the skin. Yeah, but it's good you know? for you, man. That's that vitamin D. It's a lot. And you melanated more than me. So you, 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 you're only supposed to get a certain number of it. Uh, you're right. I yes. agree. Too much is not good. Yes. But too little is also not good because... Since we melanated, mm -hmm. our skin converts that to energy. So the same way the plants with photosynthesis, where we eat off the sunlight, it's vitamin D. You need it for a lot of things in your body. So I agree with you, too much is not good, but not enough is not good too. So you think I should probably wear more exposing attire? Except for when the sun is at its like worst. When it's at its peak, okay. like you said, in moderation, yeah. don't overdo it. Yeah. But when you can, and it ain't over like too much for you, hell yeah. yeah. That's exactly what I do, bro. I be naked all summer, like. <laughs> if it's hot as hell, I ain't gotta go nowhere. I ain't wearing shit but some shorts. Yes, sir. Getting as much sunlight as I can. And take it from somebody who, because what seasons y'all got here? Y'all got like rainy seasons? Yeah. Wait, no. You know what I'm saying? Like throughout the year, you got what, two seasons or you got more? We got four. So it's no rainy season here? It happened throughout the year, but now should be a time. Okay, it's actually even hot. It didn't rain during that day. So this is September and summer is summer. Okay, so hold on, hold on. It might be a difference since we're in different climates. Right. So when I think of four seasons, I think of like Chicago four seasons, where it's like winter, even if it ain't snow, it get cold, yeah. summer is hot, and you got yeah. fall and spring. So uh, it's, autumn. Yeah. Right, autumn, fall. So if in autumn and spring, it rains the most where I'm at. Summer you get a little bit, winter you get a little bit, but... But it ain't nothing compared to like the rainy season, like Ethiopia get, where it's just raining for weeks. Mm. They don't get summer, winter, autumn, and all that. You know what I'm saying? You saying y'all get all four? But you, you said it don't get that cold though. It go to like sixty. The coldest it can get probably at five, at three. And then, when it's hectic and it's warning, it's like your minus two, your minus three. So, just play around that scale. I believe you're saying a little bit below freezing. Yeah. I think zero is 32, so. All right, so, so let's get. So, you don't even really get snow, but you seen puddles turn to ice before from the cold? No, sir. But you, I guess you all is still a better version of it. If it don't get, if it don't get down to freezing, yeah. you blessed, man. We have a little of everything. I think we got a uh, uh, damn near a lot of everything. <laughs> Chicago get colder than a lot of places, especially all the tropical places. But then it gets hotter than some places I've been in Africa. Like, 
Chicago get way hotter than Ethiopia. Ethiopia gets hot, don't get me wrong, but I don't think they be breaking 100. I expect Africans to go to the whole lot The more you go up, the more. That's what I expected too, bro. On the east side, not as much, at least in Ethiopia. No, that is... I, I, my theory, I think that might be where uh, they're a little lighter too. You know what I'm if the sun ain't beaming on you as heavy as like in West Africa. Yes. Because um, I'll tell you, bro, that was one of the stereotypes I had of Africa. I didn't know no better. Thinking like every African was the same, like stereotypical. Real dark chocolate, you know what I'm saying? And then I got over here and it's like, man, y'all look like we look. Yes. Every shade, That's every color. Well, all of that is because of all the pictures we see. The big thing is exactly. what Africa is like. Right. And you get here and it's like, people way lighter than me saying, like, nah, I'm born and raised here. Like, I'm definitely yeah. African. So, don't judge us. Our facts, man. That's the point of this channel. So y'all can see the truth for yourself, you know? And then it ain't no question no more. You ain't got to believe what somebody else tell you about Africa, about your people, or your history. Yeah, that's all they do, my they brother. Information. Facts. They really they be planting the information they want in your mind. Yes. Like if you don't uh, choose the information to put in your mind, somebody else gonna choose the information that's in your mind. Yes. And it'll probably end up being some shit to their their benefit and not yours. Of course. Uh, I mean I'm putting I'm the one who be putting that information into you. So why bother putting information in me right there? I see how it could benefit me and better me. Otherwise, you just like stay afraid of the idea. But that's to me an evil-minded person. Though. Oh, that's true. Because it's like that's almost the same as me saying I'm not gonna give you the knowledge I got from driving Uber for the last few years because we in competition or something. Why would I do that? And likewise, it's something that you know way more about than I do. Mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying you an expert in some field where I'm. Like a toddler, maybe. You know what I'm saying? So, likewise, I can learn from you. We can help each other. That's what brothers do. That's, uh, what, that's what family do. Why work with you if I can make you work for me and I don't work for you? I feel you, but... So, also, uh, I'm going to say, they're not entirely as ruthless as we would make them to see us. Because... We could also play music of using your own brain. So much so that a random stranger, a complete person who doesn't know what to think about you, saw an opportunity that actually this one I can see information. But to me the question is you don't feel I feel you. It's nothing wrong with benefiting off of your intellect, off of your knowledge. That's basically what a professional is. That's what you got to, you know, go to school for. Uh -huh. So, same thing, or got your degree for, you know. Uh -huh. So, I get that. You get the degree, so you specialize in it, and you can charge for it. All I'm saying is, not necessarily teach everybody all your secrets, because then you might go out of business. Sure. But if you see somebody who's willing and open to learn, uh, a worthy apprentice, then why wouldn't you, man? To me, I feel an obligation to teach people that's willing to learn and that really want the knowledge. True, because now you're going to dive with all that information. And I and only help myself. To people to get only words because you just have them. That's selfish. I only help myself. You know what I'm saying? So I just don't believe in that, bro. Like, i give you an example. You know, since uh, this going... Let's say, so I sell fruit. Right. Okay. I got the best apples in the land. Everybody yeah. come get my apples. Right. 
if one of my brothers especially come to me and he hungry and you know what I'm saying but I know he a good guy but he ain't never been taught how to grow an apple tree he ain't never knew that if you just split down the middle after you finish eating and you plant it in a few years you have more apples than you could ever eat by yourself so to me it's like that's my obligation to teach you now if he continue to buy apples at the store after I taught him that's on him and many people will do that, even with the knowledge. Yes. That's why I feel because like it's, uh, the you patient. should just teach them, you know? Yeah, facts. The patient. That's a fact. I literally had this conversation with somebody about the, uh, your digs. Mm -hmm. And they like, oh, they seeing what I grew and all that. And they're like, oh, how you do this and that? And I told them how long it take. There it goes on right there. Uh, he was like, man, I ain't got the patience for that. Now, we talking about it. How ironic is that? Look what we just passed real quick. Some nice, healthy guns on the corn. But yeah, that's what I kind of wanted, man. Somebody local that's selling it. Something they grew. Yeah. <laughs> So with, with y'all, they did it like, all right, bless you, bless you. With y'all, it was more like, all right, the ones that we going to take advantage of or get the house of you, they can wipe back. Which, bro, you, in a sense, did that, okay, I'm, I'm better. Facts. I'm so much better today. They somewhat, to an extent, acknowledge when in reality they don't no offense right not only do they not acknowledge you they just using you yeah this is pretty peaceful i, I kind of see what you mean now like small town but still it ain't one of you I don't know. 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 I don't know.
I think I never played it like that. I just did the basic rules and I played it and I played it. But I never go like play the thing. Yeah. So, uh, I just go. They don't know what he's doing. He might be hustling me, right? I don't know. This might be a long game. It ain't looking good. Lindo it might be busting my ass, man. That quick is tied up again. On the one. And he's just lining me up pretty nice. I don't know. I don't know. I beat Lindo. And got challenged by my brother right here. Bro was just busting my ass too, man. He was killing me. It's a good game again. One to one. So we got in there. That was the funny part, and then everybody wanted to play. <laughs> I think it's nicer when people are playing. Of course, definitely. Yeah. And nobody's playing. Uh, it's like a, it's kind of sad. It's like yeah. a bar to me. I don't really go to bars. If it ain't packed, then it's some good music. Bars be depressing as hell sometimes. Mm -hmm. You wanna catch a taxi? What, to get to your car? Oh, yeah. Why? We walked over here. Well, taxi experience. I mean, I had taxi experience, I think. Uh -huh. Maybe not here, but what's the difference? Yeah. I don't think nothing. Hey. Ain't no difference. Oh, man. Legs is free, my brother. Yes, sir. Plus, I don't know if Lindo thought he was, I'm a fat American or something. He kept asking me the other day, like, you, you good? You want to stop or? Like what, nigga? I'm not sweating. I ain't out of well, breath. <laughs> like, people don't like okay. Man, I love walking, bro. It's some of the best exercise. Yes. And cause I drive so much, cause yes. we, we do the same type yes. of job. Yes. It's like walking is just. I take advantage of when I can walk. Yeah. Cause I don't walk a whole lot in the city like that. I was telling them I'm tired of this. I'm tired of driving. Yeah. I only just started and I'm already tired. Especially if you do it back Yo. to back to back. Yes. What's your schedule with it? Like every day, five days a week? Or? Uh, at this point, it's uh, every day type of thing. Every day, no days. Every day type of thing. I would yeah, recommend. A day one somewhere off. Just like I'm too tired. Do you have a day specifically for that, for you to rest? No, sir, when I'm too tired. Okay. Yeah. So I'm not, of course, I'm never one to tell somebody how to do their thing. Yeah. You got to, like you doing, yeah. learn your own yeah. way to do it. Yeah. What work for you. Mm -hmm. But what I strongly recommend, bro, is have at least one day where you like, I'm not doing no work. Yes. I do Sunday. 
me to Sunday. That's my day where it's like I'm just taking care of my body, my mind. I might read a book. I'm not gonna do no work unless it's helpful for somebody else. If it could benefit somebody, yeah. I'll do it. Outside of that, I'm not driving, I'm not going out my way. I'm gonna try not to just do nothing too strenuous. You know what yeah. I'm saying? No stress. For a long time, for, for some years, I would read the Bible every Sunday. And that turned into just reading anything, making yeah. sure if no other day this week I got to read, Sunday I'm gonna get some knowledge. And I'm going to, like I say, clean my entire body inside and out. That's how I look at it. And then that starts you off right on the next week. Like, that's you already know that's in the Bible, the Quran. So I just strongly believe in that because you will work yourself to the point you don't want to do that shit no yeah. more, especially driving. Yeah. And you know just as good as me because you got to make that trip at the end of the night and the yeah. start. So driving back home. You got to have a day where you just like, man, yeah. I'm chilling today. Yeah. I'm not finna do nothing too I think crazy. Probably do Tuesday. Yeah. yeah. What Tuesday? Uh, I think because the weekends are busy, okay. so we gotta take an hour break. And then Monday, Monday morning, in most places, it'll probably also be very busy from people who traveled and came to visit friends. Um, so now they need to go back to work on the Monday. That's so that's smart. pretty much busy as well. And then from Tuesday we're back to normal. Okay. Yes. That's, Literally for that's to happen that sound again. like a good plan. <laughs> yes. But y'all strongly recommend it, bro, because that's part of why I've been able to do it for six, seven years now. Because uh, everybody I know who's doing it before me has stopped. Watch this car. And most of the people, like half the niggas I know that did started after me didn't stop already. Like, I didn't outlast it. Most yeah. of the people I know yeah. doing. I got a few. Shout out to my homie Julian. He's still getting it. Uh... That might be it, low key. Yeah. Brandon stopped, Cam stopped. Uh -huh. So it's just that consistency. I was trying to put them on game, but like, yeah, don't burn yourself out, bro. Yes. Like, pick a certain minimum you want to do, mm -hmm. map it out how many days a week it's going to take you to do that, mm -hmm. and then knock that out. But make sure you take some time to break. Yeah. Cause the. I ain't never got like exhaustion on some, I'm just tired of this shit, whatever. Yes. But what happened with me, I was driving so much at one point, my my foot started to hurt. Like uh, mm -hmm. the place where I was hitting the pedal, yes. that shit got sore as hell. Yes. And Plus I was you're feeling. only using one foot. No, see, I, I drive two footed. So. Oh, really? Yeah. I know you ain't really technically supposed yeah. to, but. Yeah. <laughs> that's yeah, no. That's how I do it, though. I don't know how that would work. I tried it, I think, once. Yeah. It didn't work out rather across the street. But remember what I told you? You were telling me you self taught in some shit. Yeah. I'm self taught in. I, I used to steal my brother's car, taught myself to drive. Ah, so to me, it made sense. That's why. One you... foot for the gas, yes. one foot for the brake. Yeah. You know yeah, everybody be talking about me too. <laughs> like you drive two footed? Yeah. But so, I noticed it was the one, I think it was the brake. That I was on the brake so much in traffic, stopping at red lights and mm -hmm. shit. That's the one that started to hurt. So then I try to use the other foot to compensate. Mm -hmm. And when I really noticed it was bad, is when I the only time I went uh, to, to Hawaii when I was with that French girl. I was uh, a little salty with her because you know this vacation. I ain't got a. Uh, that's another different community through them gates. Uh, no. Y'all call those boom gates, right? Yeah. Okay. Those are to curb crack. Okay. Yes. So I figured boom, I'm like, that sound like to stop somebody ramming it or something yes. like that. Yeah. So now it's better when it's at night you have one entrance and one Ah, boom. The only thing that irked me was, uh, she, you know, women, if you want to do all kind of activities and shit. Right. So she's like, well, let's go to... Black Sand Beach and Red Sand Beach, which Black Sand Beach ended up being raw, bro. Like it was a whole beach with nothing but black sand, really? black stones and pebbles. Yeah, I got, I'll show it to you. I got it on it some of it on video. Like that? Yes, it's beautiful. And I brought one of the stones back because they were smooth as hell. The only problem with it, it wasn't all sandy because once you got in the water, literally it was rocky as fuck. Uh huh. You know what I'm saying? So it wasn't the most comfortable beach, but it was beautiful. Yeah, it was beautiful. You feel me? So uh, 
it was like at least we can kind of get in the water a little bit. My ex, she went to about this far and then came back. I ain't really go that deep. I was just tripping off just how beautiful it was. Red Sand Beach was even worse. It was just like, it ain't sand at all. This is all rock. It's red and it's, it stops on the water. But then the waves came. It, it just wasn't. It damn near looked dangerous. You know what I'm saying? Like you ain't supposed to just. It's also red, so. Yeah, you ain't supposed to just walk <laughs> into this. I don't know how deep the drop off was after the rock. So it's just like nah. But it was nice to see. But anyway, I said I'll let to say. To do that, we had to rent a car and drive like an hour or two. And then. To get to the shit, you gotta drive literally around a mountain, like on the side of a oh, mountain. Yes, 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 it's yes. waterfalls all along the mountain, which is beautiful. But the part I didn't like, literally, this the path we on. It's a two lane highway on the side of a fucking cliff. Yeah, that sounds dangerous. Dangerous. Yes. You would get to bridges like this where it's only a room for one car. So you or this car gotta decide who's yes, gonna go. Gonna go first. So super tiny bridges. And the worst, like I said, we're going up a mountain with waterfalls, right? Yeah. Some of them are waterfalls off to the side, and they look nice, and they nowhere near the road. Some of them shits was coming down the, the side of the mountain. It would be, just be streams of water. So as you driving on the road, it will just be a little tiny Where's river going, yeah. going across the road. Ah, yeah. This tiny two-lane on the side of a cliff, cliff road. Yeah. yeah, so I'm just like... Not only do I not want to drive because I'm on vacation and my foot hurts. You got me driving up a cliff. Cliff is water. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Narrow yeah. bridges. Yeah. So I don't regret it. I'm glad we did it. But at the time, I was like, this girl trying to kill me, man. I'm trying to rest. She could, but... I'm a professional driver, I'm a man, you know. It almost didn't make sense for her. As a professional driver, I want to be every child as a man. Me too. Well, most people going to assume that little life like not does it all the time. No, either you like it, no. either that you like it, or you are so good at it because you do it all the yes. time. So it's like, I'm the, I'm the go-to in my family for that. They, but they know it's also, they give me some money because this is what I do for a living. Mm -hmm. I don't charge them what I charge everybody else, but at the same time. You charge them either way? Hmm? You charge them either way? On the way? You charge them. Of course, I gotta, I'm burning gas. Yeah. This is what I do for work. Uh -huh. But they not gonna get charged what I charge a stranger, you know what I'm saying? They're getting a good discount. Yeah, it's just podcast. Unless so it, exactly, unless you're talking about, I think it probably it would be different with you because you stay with your mama and your brother. So if your mama and your brother need a ride, you're not really probably gonna charge them unless it's gas. Like yeah. what you I don't stay with my people. They all grown. Yeah. Half of them got their own yeah. family. You're able to get yourself from point A to point B. And this is how you be doing it. Instead of calling right. a regular Uber, right. you're gonna hire. Your brother the Uber or your son the Uber. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, yeah, I ain't gonna tax you. But don't be stingy with me. It's equal. It was like I told you earlier when I needed some new tires. I'm like, okay, I could go to the brother right here with his little shop or to the big company, uh, Firestone, which I doubt is owned by somebody black. Had about the same price, so I'm like, well, what's gonna be the difference? He worked with me, man. He like, nah, I can get you this brand. Oh, yeah, look it up. He like, it's, it ain't something you heard of, but it's like the same quality as. I looked it up, and he was on point with everything. So I'm like, all right, I'll shop with you then, my brother. Start thinking about what I'm gonna get my little nieces and nephews. Huh? I gotta think about what I'm gonna get my nieces and nephews. Oh, yeah. Oh, <laughs> that ain't gonna last. That ain't gonna make it to Chicago. 
Oh, they probably would. I'm saying yeah. I get hungry on the plane. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'll just take the roll. Your boy doesn't roll. They ain't make it. They ain't yeah. gonna make it with me, though. I think some of them are not presidents too. Yeah. No, the bills do the design and the color and shit. The bills every now and then, but the, but the presidents have been the same since I was a baby. Okay. So it's more like this note was dedicated to this particular person. Technically, yeah. yeah. And the biggest note we got is Benjamin Franklin. Uh, the one they say that's a hundred dollars. Who they say? Supposedly, uh, discovered electricity, which uh -huh. I don't even, that don't even, that don't even sound right to me. Another person who owns this, he's the same person who owns, uh, the spot I'm telling you about that used to be popular back in the day. Oh, it's not there no more, the club you were talking about? Yes, but okay. not the one, the double story one, but the one right next to it. Ah, Office. true. Like that whole corn. Okay. Yeah. I see they got the flat screen on the wall in the back. I don't know if y'all can see through the flat, the window. But she has another one again in the mid It's a woman. Yes. It's All a right. Woman. woman out here hustling. Got multiple businesses in Ebony Park. In Ebony Park. Okay. In the and in Ivory oh, Park. Oh damn. Okay. And she had one in Tbilisi, but she simply closed it down. I like that, man. My sister yes. getting her money. So yeah, man, to keep it a buck, bruh, and you tell me what you think, but so far from time we spent walking around, the way dude was like, yeah, it's dangerous over here. It remind me of how people talk about my neighborhood. Not only my side of Chicago, the uh -huh. south side, but the south side and the west side is the blackest side. Yeah. That's, that's where we get the most, oh, it's dangerous, don't go over there. Yeah. But specifically on the south side, I'm from Inglewood, and that's a notorious neighborhood, even the, with all the hoods, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? So that's what I've been hearing my whole life, but this same more people, in Inglewood yeah. to me, it does, it, not to it say it ain't no crime, good. and uh, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But that's everywhere. Crime is everywhere. It's something you want to escape. Um, but the more black people, the more foreigners, the more the area of place will seem to be. Right. Exactly. That's what. So that's what I'm saying. I ain't thinking. I ain't naive. Like, no, we having a nice. This is just a few minutes, maybe a couple hours here. So I understand things can happen, but let we'll me probably also be able to walk around pretty much a little bit That's in Chicago. Willis Tower. It's the tallest building we got. 
Two yeah. shot points? Yeah, two points. Uh -huh. I got on my arm. Oh, yeah. That's the Willis towel. Yeah. It's really the Sears towel. They just changed it. Somebody bought it and changed it. Oh, but it's been the Sears towel my whole life. But uh, I ain't mean to cut you off, though. Mm -hmm. If you want to finish your point. I think I paid my chapter out. Okay. So what I wanted to ask you then was uh, basically... Cause that's the thing. We gonna have some differences again. Like we was, you like this a town. I'm like this ain't no town. Right. But it could be based yeah. on what you think is a town. You know what I'm saying? Right. So let me ask you a couple of questions. What? This is symptoms of the ghetto, the hood, the rough areas where I come from. Is it any gangs here? Where we come from, there is. Where was we at? But uh, Rubbish, the colored area. The colored area. What are you doing? Where we were playing pool. Oh, that area? Yes. Oh, okay. Color people. And color people, you this? Color people got gangs? Yeah. You pointed out the color girl that was walking past. <laughs> but you ain't tell me that was that area, though. No. Oh, I didn't. Nah, Sorry, I ain't man. hear you say that. I missed it. I thought uh, that was that word you taught me, too. Uh, tech. Tech. It's on the... Oh, no, that is... I don't know what that is. <laughs> oh, so she's cursing everybody out. Who's taking? They just messed up. Because I see them. Typical. <laughs> typical ghetto shit. <Yeah. laughs> but okay, so you say the gang's in the color community? Yes, but I will tell you, outside of. Or drop from town, city, suburb. Right. We're, it's not that, it's pretty much has died down. Okay. Um, yes, they still rock. They, you find a couple of jackets, quite a lot. Um, is drug heads? Yes. Okay, that's natural, that's everybody. Exactly. Uses drugs. So, I think their gang type of thing. He, he using quotation marks yeah. <laughs> when he's like, man. It's only there. So, they so can't fight with it. no fight. rival game? Ah, yeah. Oh, yeah, that ain't a real game so there now, what I'm used to. The moment you move out more into the other areas, those are West Bay, other other parts. Also, a good majority of it they have yeah. So you saying the, the color people are the biggest gang bangers? Yes. <laughs> yes. That's you go fun. to Cape Town, the most powerful gang or That's crazy. Anything that could potentially harm the people yeah. from Cape Town will have a gang relationship to it. And, and see, will be a color person. And see, that was my next question. And I already kind of know the answer because I was talking to another brother about this. Mm -hmm. I was going to ask, do y'all have gun violence? Because so far, the African countries I've been to don't. Yeah. Ethiopia, most of the citizens, yeah. most of them don't have no gun. Yeah. Uh, Tanzania, it was pretty much the same. That wasn't no regular thing, you know what I'm saying? It's usually the military, uh, the police, of course. Yeah. And even the police had sticks and shit in Ethiopia. Yeah. But they was like, yeah, don't, don't sleep on the stick. They'll beat your ass with that stick. Like, we do. So, but in those other sides, uh, it's usually just the gang fighting among the yeah, see, that's different, man. But even though y'all do have an occasional shooting, I feel like it still ain't nowhere near America. Like, huh? We have a lot of hype. Okay, that makes sense. Oh, people need money. Oh, dear Lord. But what I'm saying is, like, oh, again, remember the conversation we had about, like, Typical black shootings in America mm -hmm. versus the white ones. Yeah. Where black people are trying to right. shoot somebody specifically yeah. mm -hmm. and might accidentally hit somebody else. Mm -hmm. And the white folks want to just kill everybody. Yes, no, we. So, what we, is it? What's usually here? We're on. Really, I don't know how to 
or where rather I'd place them. But it would probably happen with kids. That's the same in Chicago. Yes. The young guys. The, the, the young kids, they take it out to school because yeah. my father is a cop or this is this. But they wouldn't go out to mass shootings or anything. Exactly. They would probably be one targeted shooting. Okay. Mm-hmm. And that's what I got to show y'all when me, you, and uh, <laughs> Justine yeah. was talking. And y'all, oh, I'm scared. That, well, you didn't say that Justine was yeah. awesome. I don't even want to go there. Right. You might get shot. It's like, man, I got to show y'all what it's like. Cause, yeah, we definitely ain't going out worrying everywhere we go. Like, yeah. oh, so it's going to be a mass shooting today. That's not really a, a regular thing. And especially with black folks, we don't do that. So you go to a black event, your biggest fear is, ah, oh, these niggas going to get into it. Yeah. And then they try to shoot each other yeah. and shoot somebody else. I think black people are more with their hands. That's right. how they solve their problem. Well, we used to be like that. that. We used to be like that. Now, some of the young ones ain't like that no more. Like, some of them are still square up and box with you and all that, but a lot of them is more like, I'm finna go get a gun. If they get beat up, they don't want to rematch them. It's like, I'm gonna shoot you instead. Basically, you embarrass me, and the only way for me to get back easily it's to come true. Yes, but now it's the consequences that they. But what we say earlier is mostly me. young guys, kids. They don't really know consequences a lot of times. Hey, but a lot of I, my I fatherless. Think they tell you every day you kill someone, you're gonna go to jail. A lot of my fatherless. I'm not saying they don't know something will happen or can't happen. I'm just saying like you're not thinking like that. Think about when what was we talking about earlier when we was younger, doing certain crimes that we would never do now. Yes. Cause we know the risk and all of that, right. and we don't have to do it no more. But at the time, you like, man, I'm hungry or that yes. look good, and so, I can't buy it. So. Opportunity. so it's more like that, man. And unfortunately, a lot of the young guys, like I say, since a lot of them don't have father figures, not all of them, but a lot of them, they be lost. Like if you ain't got no guidance. An example to show you how you're supposed to move and how not to move, they end up getting guidance from people on the street, yeah. like we was talking about before, who gonna take advantage. Yeah. An older guy on the block had him selling drugs or start them gangbang and whatever it is. So, Alright, that's, that's interesting though. You, <laughs> you just put me on something. Gang banging ass colors. Yeah. <laughs> you don't know why that's so funny to me though. Like, why? Color used to be a. Uh, I ain't gonna say derogatory. Well, it turned yeah, into a derogatory right, time. Yeah. Nah, because at first it wasn't. That was okay. just what they called black people for yeah. a long time Color. in America. Okay. And then one day they was like, don't call us that no more. It, it changed to like Afro American, African American, something like that. Yeah. And now they call us color. Which I like, think that is far worse than color. Why you think that? Because now it's, it's like African American. Well, that's how they do everybody yeah. but the white folks yeah, in America. You're somehow telling me that I'm not a full American. Well, we're American. not. Even in the Constitution, and I don't know the exact document, somebody will know that's watching the video, but one of our official law documents, mm-hmm. it say black people are three fifths of a human being. Like, we're not even a whole human. So we literally are not a uh, full American. There's a there's something that actually states a document, in writing. It's a document. It's like I don't know if it's our constitution or the it's something. And no one has ever thought no, I'll about put it in the video. This. I mean, again, bro, I'm not a when I'm not the most well versed in something. I don't like oh, well, I think it's this and that. Yeah. I just know it's an official document. I'm gonna put it, I'm gonna put it in the video. So you know to double check. I want to say it's the Constitution, and it says black people are three fifths of human beings, and this is like one of our official. What does that even mean? What about it? Means you the ain't other two fifths. You don't get the rights of a person with the other two fifths. You don't even though it say, "Oh, you innocent till proven guilty." You're we guilty. ain't exactly. Even though it say like, "Oh, uh, everybody is free and equal and shit," we obviously ain't. Well, this isn't this what is probably promoting <laughs> cops in America to behave the way they behave. One of the reasons, like yeah, of course. Because they know the law is on their side. Exactly. That's a fact. 
They know that nine times out of ten, they not gonna get in no trouble if they kill one of us. So that's why they kill us the most. Yeah, that, it's some crazy bullshit. And if anything, they try to get rid of you. I mean, basically, pretty much. I don't know other way to put it. It seems like we needed you to build America to make us as wealthy as we are. And now we need you, I'll tell you. And now that we are as wealthy as we want to be, y'all need to find somewhere to go because we don't really want you here no more. And if you choose to stay here, you're going to be mistreated. So the, the black people that I know in America who be like, I don't know why it's like this and why don't they just change? Yeah. And it's like you really don't have enough knowledge because it's like this because they want it to be like this. It reminded me of the brother Ishmael I was talking to. He was like, he the, he the one that told me about Aromia. Or Aramia, Aromia. What's it called? Aramia. Aramia. So, basically he was like, yeah, why is it? It doesn't make any sense. He was like, South African government is uh is weak. And I'm like, nah, brother, I got I to gotta disagree with you there because you sound like all the people I know in Chicago who are always complaining, oh, we ain't got no money, the city broke, the city don't got no money. And it's like, the city don't got no money, but... But how? You just, the city just spent millions of dollars to build this uh, ramp around the expressway so they can have NASCAR race there for like a, a week and then tear it all down. You have millions of dollars what? for that. You got millions of dollars to fix up the north side, downtown, to make sure that stay clean. Same as here. To make sure the nicer areas where the white folks are yes. is clean and it's nice. It's basically maintain what is already nice and then what is not nice to become a dump. True, but I would say it is maintain what you want to be nice yes. and forget everything else that you don't care about, which is usually where we live. So again, it's very similar, even me never being here before, to a degree I'm comfortable because it's like not only y'all ain't gang banging and shit to the degree people in my city is, so it's a little less danger because of that, technically. But uh, nigga, it's similar, it's like the same but different. You know what I'm saying? It's, this is your version of oppression. I know my version of oppression in Chicago. When I go to Jamaica, I vibe with most of them niggas because it's the same. I'm telling you, bro, it's like we all dealing with the same shit. The white parts kept clean, where we stay is not. You go to half the stores, especially like the bigger stores in our neighborhoods, we are not the ones owning it, getting money from it. We didn't went to a couple different Pakistani-owned stores already, so it'd be the same shit, man. Yeah. Only difference is I like y'all Your town slash city Is way more populated On the streets And I like that That's another thing I say I'm disappointed in my city It's a lot of people who scared to even like walk to the store bro. A lot of my customers Exactly A lot of my customers It be people You know you see where you going right I might get it a block from where we just came and they like, yeah, I'm going to this store right here. And in my mind, I'm like, why would you order an Uber to? Yeah, it's just okay to house. You easily, you wasting a lot of money and then finna order to take the Uber back. They like, oh, I, don't, I don't walk to this gas station. I don't walk down this street. So it's fucked up. Like, the gangbangers get in my car and do the same thing. They roll the window up if I got it down. Cause I got tents. Yeah. So they don't want to be seen riding around oh. if they opt them. Which I don't, I'm not mad. I don't want nobody shooting in my car yeah. trying to shoot you, you feel me? But the problem with that is, cause all them problems to where you scared to go around your neighborhood because your ops and you got everybody else in the community scared. So nobody can enjoy, you know. Or at least they scared to a lot of times. I see some creative street crossing out here, man. I like how
Hey, I like your, uh, I'm gonna call it a little city, man. I, I can't call this no small town, or at least a big town. Yeah. A big town or a little city, one of them. It's the, it's the, so packed celebrities. Ah, uh, this is like y'all club. Everything, the pop Busy show. corner. Watch out. Like it's another storm might be coming down that way. Oh, yeah. It's super dark down this street, man. Uh, why are you? We have to go Ah, yeah, you're right. Right in between the rain again, man. We dancing in between raindrops out here. Yeah. See if he got a, uh, if it's a case of his phone at this store. You know what? That sounds about right. My boy Lindo is exclusive. He got an exclusive car. Exclusive phone. Don't know. Don't too many people got none of the shit that he do. Man. From the tail he got. <laughs> I like that though, man. Be yourself, man. Be unique, you know. Don't make noise. And don't try to be like everybody else. They killing me with some of this music in your hood. No wonder your swag like this, man. <laughs> I think I can make it out of here. Maybe, but they here, so tell them before they go. If you think you're lonely now. Wait until tonight, girl. If you think you're lonely now. Hey, man, I like your little city, big town, bro. Yeah. I like the vibe out here. I like some too. Uh. Huh? Real chill. So, again, not being naive, you know. Uh, it's crime everywhere, mm -hmm. whether it's a rich area, poor area, black or white. So I wasn't coming out here blind, like, oh, ain't nothing gonna happen. But it was kind of what I expected to a degree, man. Yes. Like, I got warned a few times about coming out here, and we didn't get robbed. Nobody started gangbanging, asking, are we in the colored gang or not? Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So it was pretty peaceful, man. I would definitely come back through here, come see Lindo again. You do that. Shout out to Ebony. Ebony Park. Ebony Park.